Hello everyone, this is Mohammed, and today's video is quite special and I'm excited to share with you a project that is currently work in progress. So just for the sake of the demonstration, I've set up this environment to showcase the potential use of the AI and my hope is that this will inspire some of us to create even more advanced application using these AI agents. All right, so in this demonstration, we'll explore how to make use of this IFC open shell and open AI to interact with the IFC model. And before I begin, I just wanted to give a special thanks to the IFC open shell and IFC JS community for making their tools available. And hopefully in the next video, if it is of interest, then I will share some interesting workflow that I built with the IFC JS. Okay, so let's understand what um, this application is about. So I used Streamlit, um, which is for the front end design, and IFC Open Shell and the IFC Viewer for the for the three D model viewer, and the IFC Open Shell for interacting with the model, and with the help of the Open AI API, um, the the workflow is basically going to query the information from the uploaded model. So the components that we have is that we got the the uploader. So here the user can drag and drop the file or eventually select the models. Once the information is selected, we can further query the data. So this is one of the sample model that I have. It's just a very simple rabbit model, um, got few rooms and doors and walls, which I then exported this information to an RFC format. All right, so here is the model. I'll just drag and drop this IFC model. Okay, so once the model is uploaded, right now the limit for that is 200 megabytes. So right now this is pretty decent size, 900 KB. Once the model is uploaded, um, it's not uploaded anywhere online. It's just a local environment that I'm running here. And once this is uploaded, um, what we can do is that we can query the information. So for example, list rooms. Okay. And it's going to list all the rooms in the current model. Um, same way, what I can do is I can query the information of, for example, list walls. Okay. So it's going to list all the walls that we have in the project. And similarly, what I did is that just to get some analytics from the model, I've got the another section here where we can select, for example, I want certain information of the rooms. So I can select multiple um, element types that I needed. However, I just select the office space and then it give me a list of information um, which it extracted from that particular model. This is just to view the information and we can eventually download this into a CSV format if needed. Um, zoom into a specific location or make it full screen. So the Streamlit, um, it really helps to create some um, good user interface because it got a lot of components that can be eventually used. And based on the model that was uploaded, it's just giving some information um, that it, it, it has. So for example, it shows that there are currently six doors in the model, um, seven walls, and then um, six spaces in the model and then we can further extract the information um, if needed okay so i'll go back here and then maybe i'll say count rooms and list names so it says that it has six um, rooms which is correct Or maybe I'll say list 
room names. Yeah. And long name. Anyways, you got the idea of um, how this was um, developed and then I hope this will be of interest to most of us. All right, so thank you very much for taking your time and I look forward to hearing your feedbacks and ideas for future enhancement.